Now let's go back to the distinguishing aspects of RUP, starting from the first one. That is that the rational unified process is use case driven. So let's see what that means. Generally speaking, we can see a system as something that performs a sequence of actions in response to user inputs. So the user submits some requests, so requests some functionality, and the system responds to those requests. Use cases, as we just said, capture exactly this interaction and answer the question, what is the system supposed to do for each user? So this is a very important point. So they can represent what the system can do for each of the different types of users of the system. For this reason, and as we will see in more detail, in the rational unified process, use cases are a central element of the whole development lifecycle. From requirement engineering all the way through the process until testing and maintenance. So once more, use cases are used, support, and help each one of these phases in the rational unified process.